drop tops out Summer nights, it's a vibe, yeah We've been keeping it in the house Netflix and chillin', a GDM in, yeah Didn't wanna share my love Till I found someone I'm sure of Young and untamed I've been out of range, keeping it low But I wanna be bold with it Don't care what we told about it Wow, baby, got a hold on it Damn it, my favorite perfumes run out Serves me right for getting the mini one. Just getting sorted. We are going for Ocean. Oh, welcome back. Welcome to a new vlog. We're going to take Ocean for a six month photo shoot today. Call me excessive, but I always had it in mind that I wanted to do it. That curl's popped out of your, out of your bow. How did that pop out of your bow? And then she scratched all of her face. Just before we go. <laughs> you look gorgeous. You're so scrummy. Yeah. You're so scrummy. Ah, oh, I think this is. She's actually going to be six months next week. So today is the 2nd of October. Last night I put her in her first little Halloween baby grow. And yeah, today the vibe is cream. I'm wearing all cream. I've actually got white trousers on, but I don't actually have cream trousers. And then this little munchkin's wearing a little, I'll show you properly when I get her up. It's from Zara. But I'm actually taking quite summery bits. The girl that does our photographs, she's done her newborn ones and she just has like a vision. So she kind of told me what to bring and these kind of like cream bloomer bottoms. But we'll see, I'll take you along and hopefully we'll get some nice and cute bits. But I'm all about getting all the pictures for the memories and milestones, so I'm very excited. And my hair and makeup's actually gone really nice for a change. I'm just taking a bag of hair stuff for Ocean as well because she'll probably sleep in the car and it will look crazy when she wakes up. today it was so cute we had six donuts and six balloons so obviously signify six months of little o how good and you had the best time ever she was so happy but as we're getting to the end i could tell something was up and she's full of cold now she just sounds really bummed up really snotty so it was just the start of a cold so we have a nice early night just run her like a cool bath because she feels quite hot but we took her temperature it's not too bad but fingers crossed she's had a cold before and it's just horrible when they can't breathe and they obviously don't understand it and she can't blow her nose or anything and now you've just got really bad hiccups but yeah it was nice taking more pics today wasn't it and we recreated some of our pics from our newborn shoot as well because it was the same photographer uh, yeah it was so good and we're really excited to get them back aren't we We'll sh say we'll share them when we get them. But we might get them this week. If I get them back, I'll put some on the screen because we're going to try and get them back before her actual six months. She's so cuddly. Like, she's clingy, but she's, like, cuddly and clingy when she's not well. Should we have Barfy now? So I'll speak to you in the mornings. Fingers crossed we'll have a good night's sleep. Night-night. Good morning. So... The day has arrived. We are starting, I don't know why I'm whispering, I'm just scared that she's gonna wake up, but we started sleep training today. It is 8.44, I set an alarm for seven. I know if you've got a baby, you're probably thinking, why have you had to set an alarm? But the thing with Ocean is, she takes so long to go to sleep and she cries so much at night that she ends up going to sleep really late and then she wakes up quite a lot in the night. So, 
by the morning she is bloody tired so she actually is quite like a little teenager she would probably sleep until like nine but the sleep training place we're working with they've said that we need to get her up at seven to like make the most of this training that we're doing so i've been awake with her since seven Cass has literally just walked out the door so we've both just kind of done like the first nap with her together i put her down i'm literally basically so today and tomorrow is called like a contact day and i'm messaging this lady from sleeping bunnies and she's basically coaching me what to do and if i'm like worried like i'm sending her pictures of the monitor sending her voice notes of ocean crying and stuff and for example not to go into complete depth yet because like i said this is a massive trial for us i've heard amazing things about sleep training but there are so many different methods and what we're working on with her is l teaching ocean how to soothe herself to sleep so i just put her down at 8 15 don't get me wrong it took 25 minutes but she's asleep and i didn't have to go in and normally I would have gone in, I'll be honest, a couple of times, probably like three times. Because she turns on her front and then she flips back and then she cries because I feel like, I, I don't know if she's like hit her hand or something on the court or, but really I think she's just protesting because she knows how to bloody work me. But she's asleep and I didn't go in once and she is on her front. But anyways, I just got really excited and parcel, so I'm gonna go grab it and open it with you guys. Don't want to jinx it, but she's down for nap two of the day. It's 20 past 11 and so far so good. It's not as bad as I thought it was going to be. There's no point in me just like discussing anything because I still am just kind of figuring out what the hell is going on. <laughs> I just can't, can't believe we got here. I still literally picture all these people like, what? My baby slept through at like six weeks old. I'm just like good for you <laughs> really happy for you i just knew i'd end up with the sleep devil i just i don't know why i just knew it but you never know maybe i'll have a perfect sleeper for my second baby but you know some fun and games i live to tell the tale anyway so let's talk about something other than baby sleeping i have just received the most exciting parcel i actually let out a little squill that you cannot wait to show you i'm going to give you sneak peeks this is the astrid and Mew advent calendar this is a 12 day one they've got three advent calendars and they've said i can give you a little sneak peek because this is so exciting if you follow me over on instagram you'll know that i'm a big fan of astrid and Mew. i started buying their pieces probably around two years ago and it's one of them collabs that's been really really natural they saw that i was wearing their pieces a lot so from there we decided to start collaborating and it's just been a dream and i absolutely love them like i said i buy the pieces myself and i'm so excited to hopefully convert some of you guys to wearing astrid and mew because i get so many compliments when i wear their jewelry and my favorite brand to do ear stacks i'm actually thinking of getting my thirds done soon and maybe we'll work our way up but this is the perfect one if you do have loads of piercings in your ears even if you have one hole in your ear because this is the earring advent calendar so everything in here is for your ears and they have four exclusive new styles in here and loads of their other signature designs so shall we have a sneak peek whilst i talk you through it because i just know that this is going to sell out i think this is their third year doing their advent calendars and they always end up selling out so this is why i'm doing it pretty early don't be alarmed i mean i have been ordering quite a lot of christmas it must be the mum in me now i'm starting to prep for christmas a lot earlier but yeah i'm gonna link this down below so let me talk you through it but before as soon as i've talked you through it you need to go down and you need to shop this because it will sell out so this is what it looks like it's stunning i've had it on my dress and i'm thinking i might actually leave it on there because it can be used as a jewelry box after which i think is such a good idea and if you can see there's the most beautiful embossed design it is in gold so i don't know if you can tell but everything in here is going to be gold jewelry but if you get the silver embossed, that means you've got the silver jewellery. You see what they did there? The advent calendar is £325, but the jewellery in there is worth over £600. So you are making a massive saving. If you are looking to kit out, I mean, 
if you get this i feel like you've got a lifetime of earrings if you're looking to start up your earring kit start up your ear stack game let's start with this so what should we start with i don't even know i've had picked like two but i was like no, no i'm gonna save it for the video i feel like it makes sense to start with number one shall we start with number one here is what the little pouches look like in the drawers i have no idea what's in here i actually can't remember oh my god so cute Ugh. so here are the cute little earrings from drawer number one they have a little dangly chain i feel like their attention to detail in their earrings and all their jewelry is just gorgeous i'm honestly just such a fan of how dainty and pretty everything is that they sell this is when I wish the YouTube videos were live so you could tell me which number to go for because why am I honestly the most indecisive person in the world? I don't know why, but I'm being drawn towards 11. Maybe because this is all mystic and cosmic and 11 just gives me 11, 11 good vibes. So let's see what's in 11. Oh my God, cute. But I'm going to have to swap my ears around. So these are little huggies. Oh my God, I'm actually obsessed with these. Ah, these are little huggies. And then they've got a little chain which will dangle down. So let me put it in and show you. Oh my god, stop. This is going to be my new signature ear stack because I am obsessed. I actually get asked quite a lot where I get my huggies from because they are so dainty. Aren't they just the cutest? Like they come so close to your earlobe, which I love. I'm quite nitpicky about huggies because i feel like i've got quite small earlobes and i want my huggies to literally do what they say on the tin i want them to hug my earlobe i am obsessed with them we'll open one more because i don't want to completely ruin it obviously there's 12 days so that gives you plenty more surprises let's do number six. Oh, we have two pouches in this one by the way guys don't forget they've got two other calendars as well which are 24 days so you can open them throughout the whole of december and they have a mix of astrid and muse jewelry in as well so like i said this is just the earrings and the others have a whole array of their designs look at these little moons everything's super festive and good christmas vibes i'm gonna put this one in my second hole here we go that is what this ear is looking like i actually love mixing and matching my jewelry don't feel like you always have to wear a pair of earrings. That is the beauty of a brand like this. They have so many designs to choose from. And like I said, this is where you can have a massive play around. If you can't tell, I'm a huge fan. I honestly would be showing you this even if it wasn't a collab because I'm so excited about this. I'm going to leave the rest for December. I'll leave a link in the description box if you do want to check out Ashton and Mio's advent calendars for this year. Like I said... They're going to sell out, so be quick to save disappointment. This also makes a really good present as well. Or you could even ask for this to be a Christmas present, but just ask if you can have it early December as like a little early gift. Don't forget to check out the other two. Completely different designs. They've got bigger drawers and they are also stunning and you get 24 surprises in them. So I'll leave all the information you need in the description box and a huge thank you to Astrid and Mew for teaming up with me on this video. I can see my child wriggling around. <sighs> she slept for about 40 minutes. That's okay. <sighs> really, really trying to get up to like an hour and a half. <sighs> Look at her. Right, so that is the end of my little break. <laughs> I'm gonna go get her. I just have to document this because she's gone back to sleep. She's never done that. Can you say, I'm really good at sleeping in the day now. Day two, we're halfway through the naps today. And sleep training, but night time. Night time? What happens at night? Say, so these bunches turn into horns. Got some nice little sets from Asda yesterday. And I had to get these washed in on her straight away because they're so cute. They're like mini mouths. They got little frilly shoulders. They're really cute. I also got a few orders come through today. I've got an ASOS order, Matalan, which if you joined my broadcast chat, like my little group chat on Instagram, you would have seen. If you've not joined it, joined it because 
it's honestly so much fun. It feels like I'm texting everyone, which is a bit annoying that everyone can't reply. But what else do I get? I got but seeing so anyway, I might do a little haul and show you what I got. Literally fly through it. And tonight I'm going to an event. I'm going to dinner. I woke up feeling a bit rough. Really sore throat in the night. <clears throat> My throat's been hurting. She had a cold a couple of days ago, so I think I've caught it. Um, but I am going to go to dinner. I was going to pull out, but it's with Junk Elephant, and I absolutely love the brand. I love their bronzing drops, and they've just bought out um, Goldie drops, which is like. What it says on the tin, gold drops. So, Dada is doing bedtime with you tonight. Ha <laughs> ha. Poor Dada. Poor Dada. <laughs> shortest one so my challenge is i'm gonna go through all the bits that i just said have come and give a little try on haul i also want to really really knuckle down on my like to know um and link all my outfits all the things you guys ask me about the most and my just my favorite things because i get dms every day about this cardigan <laughs> just like my essentials like what's your favorite pair of jeans what's your favorite crop top and then I wear this cardigan so much, so people constantly ask me about this. So, if you've not heard of Like To Know, I should be better at it. But I'm really, really going to knuckle down on it. I pinky swear. And you'll be able to find all my links in one place. So, I'll link it down below. It's always in my bio. But it's going to be super organised. And I'm going to link literally everything that I'm about to show you. But I have my slam parcel. I have a mango parcel and I was about to say Asda, I've got a, what's it, my brain tying, I've got a ASOS parcel. Let's start with Matalan. I'll be honest, the Matalan order is a mix of things, there are some home bits. Like I said, if you're on my chat on Instagram, you might have seen these things, but at least you can see them in the flesh, kind of, not really in the flesh, but like a virtual flesh and see like the sizing and stuff. Here we go, Christmas mini decor haul. Apart from this, this is a just a tumbler, plastic, very cute for my coffees around Christmas time. Let's turn the light on. And then I will put a picture on the screen. One of my friends, Jess, who lives in Nashville, she does the best decor and like Christmas little displays. And I screenshot this on her story last year. And she does like a little display of trees and this is the start of my tree collection they're all very different so i'm very excited about them and they're all under a tenner i'm sure next up i picked up a few bits for ocean i just wanted to get some bigger size zipper baby grows because she was living in best throughout the summer because she's such a sweaty girl and she's so tall so i've actually got a couple of well, I think I just got this in 9 to 12 months because I thought it was really cute and I think that's the only size they had left. And then this little fleecy one, which I thought would be good for chillier nights. That's in 6 to 9 months, so that's the size she's in at the moment. And then this cute little Mickey Mouse set, which I feel like might be part of the boys section because obviously, well, if you go by like Mickey being for boys and then Minnie being for girls, but... We don't care over here. I just thought that was so cute and it's really nice material. It's like ribbed. And that was £9. So I always find their um, pricing's really good in Matalan. And then these little cute pink bow shoes. I thought these are cute for around Christmas if we dress her up or go anywhere in particular. And then I literally have one thing to try on. I got myself one thing other than the decor. So here's what I picked up for myself. It is a bomber. And this is a dupe for, I think it's a Zara one that's going around. I've seen a few places do it. But it's more of like a dressy bomber. So I thought I would have a hunt for a dupe. And then saw this one from Matalan. And I actually, I don't know if this is a bit too fitted. Maybe I should have gone one more size up. But I quite like how it is a bit more fitted than how I wear my bombers normally. I normally wear my bombers 
drowning me. What do we think? This is a 12. So maybe I could have gone a bit bigger. I feel like this would be cute with jeans, maybe leather trousers. But then I like how it's still quite cropped. Next up we have mango. And I think I'm losing the plot. Because this is literally the jacket I just tried on but from Matalan. I I do not recall ever like it I don't think it ever crossed my mind that I literally ordered it twice. Well <laughs> there you go, you can tell I'm definitely wanting a black bomber. Well, at least you can see the difference between a mango one and Matalan. I kid you not, I swear to God, I do not remember. I knew that there's jeans in here, striped jeans, which I really wanted to try. Oh God. But I assume that this is more pricey. I'll look it up in a sec, but, oh, see, oh, I would have been happy with the Matalan one, but this is just typical me. The, the two things I would have preferred in the Maslan one this has got, I was thinking about the structured shoulders and then it also having like that cinched in waist. I don't know if you can tell because I've got black PJ bottoms on, but because this has a thick elastic band at the bottom, it kind of is going in a little bit more. It's just a lot more of that kind of boxy, which I think makes it look a little bit more dressy and cool and also a bit more statement even though it's <coughs> even though it's a black bomber so it's one of them like they're much of a muchness they're very similar let me tell you the price difference so it's one of them if you don't mind doesn't say the price good i have to i'll link it down below but from what i feel like i know with mango it's like zara prices so i feel like this might be like 60 maybe 55 so if you're happy to spend double i do actually much prefer this one but it's just literally the tiny like finer details i need to check my order because no i did order these okay oh, ready for your mind to be blown so that jacket is 79.99 i personally still really want to keep it but just because it's literally to a T what I wanted. But the mango one is a really good dupe because it's literally a smidge of the price. And then I have this cardium. And now it's four o'clock, which means I've got to get ocean up. Oh, time flies when you're confused. I've literally just been stood here. This feels unreal. This is 35. Did I just say that? I don't know. Don't know what's going on. I could have sworn I ordered jeans. I saw a girl I follow in some striped jeans. And I just thought they were like creamy and camel, creamy and brown. This is so soft. And I thought, oh, they're nice. They're a bit of me. Do you know, sad story. I actually left one of my cardigans in London the other day. So I'm actually due a nice new cardigan. But it's so soft, but I do think it's quite meh. I don't think it's doing much for me, to be honest. Like the one I lost the other day was a bargain. It was like 19.99 from Uniqlo. And yeah, I left it in the wardrobe of the hotel I stayed in. I'll have to do the ASOS order once I've got Ocean up because I need to get her up to be part of her routine. Look how cute she looks. She's a tummy sleeper, guys. You help mama do a haul? Look at your hair from your nap. Did you sleep so heavy? <laughs> oh, your hairband's still in. I was gonna say, where is it? It's way back here. Oh my girl, my girl. What do you think about mommy's cardigan? <sighs> right, so I've just got ASOS, which I have already looked at and the bits look really nice. So I will shut them on now and I might actually wear one of them tonight. Oh my God, my throat's getting progressively worse. We're gonna have to rain check on the ASOS haul. However, I am wearing one of the outfits. I got to run out the door because my car's literally here. Well, it's been here for four, well, it's been here for about 20 minutes, but I was supposed to be in it four minutes ago, but I'm really quick gonna show you my outfit. It's very cute, it's given autumn. However, 
um, the boots I envisioned it with. They didn't come in time, so we've got on. <laughs> are we shocked at this point? The shoes that I've literally worn. Cost per wear, these are like one penny. Honestly, they're from Primark. And here's the outfit. It's very cute. Oh my God, my battery's flashing. For goodness sake, it's been charging. Oh, what am I gonna do? I'm gonna have to vlog on my phone. Oh, at least you saw the, the good stuff, which is the outfit, but I will link this down below. Hopefully it is in stock. What do we think? Hey guys, it's literally, don't swing knives around, like three days later, because I have been so ill. A cold come and knocked me sideways. I know there's something going around at the moment. Some people say COVID's going around, but we literally all had this horrendous cold. I think I mentioned it in my last clip. Who freaking knows? I can't even remember, but... I mean, I still feel like you can hear it in my voice. And Ocean Bless Her, I think she gave it to me. I'm thinking maybe she picked it up at like her baby class or something. And then I think I gave it back to her. And then, yeah, she's just been a nightmare. And it's affected her sleep quite a lot. She's actually napping right now. I'm hoping today she's kind of over it because I feel like I am just getting onto the other side. But last night was tough. Last night's the first time. Uh, mm, I think there has been one other night where I just hold my hands up and I surrender and I admit <clears throat> being a parent is freaking hard. It can be really, really, really freaking hard. And I feel like I was a little bit naive the first few months. And I mean, some people are probably lucky and maybe do find the whole thing smooth sailing. But I remember actually saying to Cass when she was like, maybe four months old I don't think being a parent's that hard I don't think having a baby's that hard <laughs> and there are moments when I'm like this is so easy it's come very natural to me but I'd hear people talk about having newborns and having a baby and saying like it's the hardest adjustment ever and it's so hard and I was just like I don't understand I don't get it but now I feel like God had other plans for me he laughed up there and was just like, you wait, we're going to put some mayhem into your life. And it's humbled me. It's humbled me massively. Last night was hell on earth. I mean, looking back, I don't know if it's because I was ill, she's ill. So I can't even blame her, but she was just so unsettled. We put her to bed. She woke up like 45 minutes later. And then like hysterically, when I tell you like hysterically, would not stop crying. But like inconsolable we didn't know what to do we didn't know how to soothe her and in the end i can't remember how we did man manage to soothe her but she did settle and then she went back to sleep for about four or five hours and then woke up again and then we're back to sleep so it's just yeah we've definitely not tackled the night so i feel like we've got day naps down to a t but that is that in a nutshell and if you are going for it at the moment and you feel like you mutter to yourself multiple times a day going on i'm with you i feel you i get you it is it's real it is real i definitely think i'd be interested to see <clears throat> who feels this way i think it's harder as she's getting older i'm loving it so much more because she's got a personality she's so much fun but it's a lot more challenging the older she's getting as opposed to newborn and i know people that would completely disagree with me and say that the newborn like they take all this sleepless nights over the newborn stage in a heartbeat and i'm like mm -mm, give me a newborn all day long no not give me a newborn because like i said it's like swings and roundabouts <sighs> anyways i'm <laughs> so talking to babies i am actually starting to win ocean she's had a few bits but I've, i want to make some bits to put in the freezer just to have ready because I feel like we've been making stuff for that day and then we're like wasting bits and bobs which I don't like doing so I literally found this in a charity shop it was like two pound two pound fifty there's a label on the back still from the charity shop and it's normally 17 pound so but I recommend it regardless it's really handy because this whole part of the front like the first 70 pages just talks you through baby led weaning and purees and stuff and ugh, choking and all that stuff <clears throat> and then there's a whole section on meals to make 
and what foods blend together really nicely, what they advise giving babies, and obviously Joe Wicks is like the body coach and just like really helpful. So I'm gonna make some bits and just put them in little ice cubes. And a few people have messaged me saying, can I document the weaning process? To be honest, I, I don't really know what I'm doing. That's why I've got this book and I find it really helpful. And I probably will YouTube stuff. That is literally what I do. But I'm starting off, I'm gonna, I've literally bought so many greens. One thing I've learned from this book is babies naturally, um, like us, I guess, we gravitate towards sweeter things. Well, I do. And babies do too. So they say try and go like in right at the beginning with as many vegetables as you can because it's something that they as soon as they kind of learn to be like no i don't want that that they might turn their nose up to vegetables and i don't want that i want her to love vegetables so i'm cutting up a courgette and i've got other stuff in the fridge now so i'll let you know what i make i know the lights you look so amazing is the moonlight that makes me wonder why we separated or am i faded you shine so bright it's an understatement Single is overrated If you get too close, my baby Might let you take me back Take me back, baby Take me back, baby, baby, baby. Take me back, baby Oh my god, look at these two They actually kill me Nothing beats walking in And your baby doing that smile After they've had a long sleep As if to say, you've come back how long did you just nap for? Yeah. <laughs> Two hours. Guys, I honestly... Right. Oh, I don't know if I should just do it in this video. Good morning, by the way. This is the last day I'm going to vlog today. I can't even think how long this video is going to be or if it's going to be short. I have no idea because I've kind of been vlogging like on and off for a week because I was ill and... Uh, I know I have, I've still got it in the back of my head that I need to finish this ASOS haul. Just because there was a few cute bits in there, but you probably don't even care at this point. But, I literally keep getting so many messages about sleep training. So obviously, we started on Thursday. By the way, I'm, I don't know if I mentioned this either. What is wrong with my brain? It's like, honestly, I've got a memory of a goldfish. My door has been taken to get sprayed because basically, even though this is like a film on top, Talk about eight different conversations at once. It has got a slight, so like this little bit, I don't know if you can see it, just flip it around. So like this, that is an actual grain. So it's a bit annoying because you can see it is a sticker, but it's a sticker with texture. So it's been taken away to be sprayed. That's why this oh, cupboard looks ugly. And basically cut a massive long story short, if we want no texture at all, we're gonna have to get new doors. Amazing, wanted it to be a budget friendly job, but I'm not even thinking about that right now. Anyway, sleep. Oh my God. Um, okay, so in a massive nutshell, we have completely aced naps. Naps are down to a T now. I've got her wake windows bang on. I'm just gonna put a screenshot on the screen. This is what I've been given as her sleep routine. Um, we were kind of, the first couple of days, do you know what, it was a bit... Oh, right, what I'm trying to say is, because she's literally six months tomorrow, when we started it, they're very strict with, you've got to be the age, the perfect age for the right weight windows. And I actually don't advise, you just type it on Google, weight windows, because I did that ages ago. And I was told I was keeping her asleep way too long and the weight windows were just completely wrong. And you have kind of got to, this is why I think it's worth getting a sleep coach and talking to one. Every baby's so different. There's a lot of different sleep terminology, but babies have different, I can't even think what the word is, but I do really recommend it, even though we literally started not even a week ago. She was sleeping, I kid you not, 20 minutes maximum per nap. And it was really stressing me out. To say in the short space of five, four or five days, it has changed my life already. Don't get me wrong, we are a million miles away from where I wanna be. Like the nights are really actually starting to affect me. 
Um, it's giving me, I'm getting anxiety as we're getting closer to bedtime. But the days, I've just had two hours to clean my house. I never had that, literally never had that. And that's her first nap of the day. So she literally woke up at seven. Me and Cass are now taking it in turns. So we're both getting a little bit more rest in the morning. However, I'm thinking I might just start getting up at seven with her and just getting more done kind of thing. Anyway, she literally goes back down for a nap at 8.15 to 8.30, which might sound excessive, but she's clearly still so bloody tired, but <laughs> maybe because she's still not sleeping a whole night through. So maybe that will change, but that is the beauty of having contact with a sleep coach or doing a session with a sleep coach or... I don't know, I know all companies work different, but from what I'm saying with sleeping bunnies, like today I've sent her my whole weekend sleep schedule because I'm still in contact with them, but it's not as like intense as the first two days. Brief, brief, brief overview. Wednesday and Thursday were two contact days with someone from sleeping bunnies and she literally was at the end of WhatsApp. I had to text her when we woke up. She told me what time I was putting her down for a nap and then she texted me throughout putting her down might seem like how are you going to text when you're putting your baby down but literally it's like i'm about to go put her to bed put your phone down go and put her down and then it's like you're not in the room sending voice notes and videos of if they are making noises if you do have a monitor you can send it over and they are literally on their phone They're, the job is that they've got to respond really quickly basically i assume maybe that if you're not a texter that they would do a phone call but i guess when you're in and out of the room with your baby because it's like a soft gentle approach to cry it out but it's not cry it out because i didn't want to go for that approach i don't i can't i physically can't just let her lay and sob it just breaks my heart into like eight million pieces so the term they use is soothe settle repeat um but yeah in by the end of day two by the end of day one she's literally been sleeping an hour and a half minimum two hours max and they say keep the naps for two hours so I've literally had to be waking up and they say never wake a sleeping baby so it's crazy it's actually changed my life but we now just need to sort out night times because she gets a bit of separation anxiety don't you at night time you just love being with mummy and daddy don't you yeah, yeah. and guess what guess what guess what you're gonna be Like I could cry, I could actually cry if I sat and thought about it long enough. Did you know you're the best date? You've, you've done a poo. <clears throat> We're in a nice moment. And so you're the best thing that's ever happened to me. Did you know that? Even though you still almost sleep at night. Did you know that? Gonna stay in this moment. Gonna lay here on the grass. I'm sure you thought you were seeing the back of me for this vlog. I am sick of myself, to be honest, at this point. Um, it's another day. I'm having one of them weeks. I really am having one of them weeks. But I am highly embarrassed. I've just edited this video back and the amount of times I bang on about this um, ASOS haul. See? See? Brilliant. You're gonna think this is gonna be groundbreaking stuff. I mean, it's fine, but I feel like I've mentioned it so much that I need to show you. So I'm really, really quickly going to fly through this and just apologise for the mismatch vlog. It is a bit peculiar, this vlog, isn't it? I think it really threw a spanner in the works that I was ill. I was on a bit of a groove and then we plummeted. So you're watching this in real time because I'm going to get this up tonight. And... Sorry, I know you might be so bored of me talking about ocean sleep, but I feel like I have to say this and document it just for myself. <gasps> she's six months today. She's currently napping. And she slept through the night last night. I cannot believe it. But I will say, because I just want to be really transparent, because I feel like I am one of them people that I see people being like, my baby slept through, my baby slept through, and then you actually talk to these people and they're like, yeah, and they like woke up like four times for a bottle in the night, but like in my eyes they slept through, and you feel like you're beating yourself up as a mum, 
and almost like being like, oh, why is my child not doing that? When really they're just kind of saying what suit, I don't know, but by all means, if people say things to make themselves feel better, carry on, who am I to judge? But I'm gonna say she slept through. However, it was nowhere near a perfect night. Last night at the beginning of the night was the worst night we have ever had with Ocean. I put her down at about quarter past six um, and she screamed for on and off two hours. It was hell, hell, hell. <laughs> it was hell, it really was hell, you gotta laugh. And no, she wasn't left. We were in and out, in and out. Do I think we make it worse? Probably. Am I gonna leave her to cry? No. Um, but when she did, finally surrender I can't even remember how oh in the end Cass just rocked her to sleep with a bottle and I'm starting to think that as much as you can go down these sleep coach routes you do need to kind of just figure out what works for you as a family and she can self-soothe I know she can she does it for her nap times I literally put her in her cot walk out she goes to sleep happy as Larry night time I don't know what it is I don't know what it is <laughs> if you know text me let me know but yeah, it might just mean that we, she needs a little bit more love and comfort. Not that we don't give her love. I, I know some people are going to be so against sleep training and that is fine. But like I said, it is causing quite a lot of like anxiety for me now. Um, that especially night times. <coughs> so sleep training is obviously what we've chosen to do. So yeah, after the two hours, she went to sleep about half eight and we went to bed. And then I set an alarm for one because she normally wakes up around half one, two. And what my sleep coach said was, as much as they don't teach nights at Sleeping Bunnies, she, they offer advice. Um, they advise that I give her a dream feed before we go to bed, which I actually didn't do because she went to bed later. So it was going to end up being later anyway. So I did essentially the structured feed, which is like a dream feed that's later. So you go in whilst they're asleep, pick them up, feed them. And again, kind of winged it and changed it to how I felt in my gut, like I wanted to do it. So I made her three ounce bottle. Um, and that was at one o'clock. <laughs> and then she woke up at seven the next time. No, she didn't, I had to wake her up. I woke her up at seven, so she probably would have slept for longer. So she slept from 8.30 to 7, but obviously we had a hell two hours before and I did dream feed her just three ounces because I am trying to like, not, I don't want to say wean her off it. If she's hungry and she wants her milk, I'm going to give it to her, but I just feel like she's not. She's just learning the new routine. But yeah, that's where we're at on her six month birthday eve, so last night. And yeah, just thought I'd update you on that. And also, and I keep saying it, but if you join my broadcast on Instagram, I'm going to talk about um, the sleep training and everything on there. So join that. And if you're not fussed, happy days. And I'll try and cut back how much I talk about it in YouTube videos and maybe just like put it in specific videos. I don't know. But let's get, let's do, I've just said I'm going to fly through this and I'm not. So ASOS Hall, let's go. Right, first up, I've got these black jeans. I had a bit of a drama with the Zara order. I have jeans that I swear by from Zara now. I've been seeing a lot of people tag them. I feel like they're just a really good everyday jean. I've got them in a dark blue, a light blue, and then I ordered the black and they got lost. And I contacted Zara and they were like, sending me screenshots saying it's been delivered and we back and forth, back and forth. They're sending me a new pair, but this was like two weeks ago. So in the meantime, I've ordered different black jeans and I feel like these fit really nice. I'm not ever going to be a low rise girly but yeah I really like these. They've got a bit of a wash. They're really good length for reference. I am um, show you in the mirror as well. How tall am I? I'm like just a smidge off 5'8". Sorry about my washing behind. So can you see? They're actually the lighting's not great. Really nice shape also i'm well aware how rough i've looked this whole video does she brush her hair wash it or put makeup on anymore actually there was one clip of me with makeup on wasn't there see i've got it in me 
Next up is this top. I love this top. The quality is so nice. This is Topshop on Acer. I'm glad we can still access it because I love their pieces. I feel like they are a little bit more pricey than like standard things on ASOS, but the quality is there. This is so nice. It's got like a really thick, slouchy layer. I just feel like this is quite cool, girl. This is a really simple top, but it adds a little bit of, I've made effort. Next top is a little bit of glitz. I'm not really sure how to wear it and I'm not sure if it's a tiny bit see-through. What do we think? I just don't know how I feel about not wearing a bra since breastfeeding. <laughs> I'm not sure. I just feel like I'd have to put on a strapless bra, which I don't know where I can locate one right now. But I feel like it's cute. It kind of dresses up a bit if you just want to go somewhere and you don't know what the vibe is. Again, these jeans, look how multifunctional these jeans are. They're going with all the vibes, but I think I like this. Final top, again, love this. I'm actually really embarrassed that I bigged up this haul so much. I literally have three tops and a pair of jeans. <sighs> I'm sorry about that, but I don't know. I feel like some of the pieces are cute and you could do a lot with them. This is giving me like acid wash denim-y vibes. It's giving me Kourtney Kardashian kind of grunge, which by the way, I did a reel of the Boohoo stuff from the Courtney collab and I'm highly impressed. I was actually kind of like, wow, this is better than I thought it would be. I'll put the reel on the screen so you can see, but some of the pieces are definitely worth looking at as well. I don't know, I just feel like I'm shopping a fair bit right now because obviously we're in, in autumn, but it's really warm at the moment. And I just needed to update my wardrobe because everything I had last autumn i was pregnant so i'm bigger than i was before i was pregnant so i needed to do some shopping anyway like i said i sound like a broken record i will link stuff down below if you see anything you like and let me know what you think and also point me in the direction of good places to shop because i still feel like i'm still not there with my full new autumn wardrobe but anyway guys i'm gonna wrap this here let's finally close this video out Hope you all have a fantastic week. Go and enjoy the sunshine. We're going to go to a pumpkin patch, I think, tomorrow. I will start a new vlog tomorrow, I think. And I will see you guys in my next one. Love you all.